San Francisco, California. She got a, a very unique style of comedy, and I know y'all are going to enjoy it. So I need y'all to start putting your left hand and y'all right hand together. Start making some noise. Start making some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. To my girl, Amira, everybody. Let's give it up for Amira one time. Just keep that noise going until she gets to the stage. How's it going? Woo! What's going on? They, they finally put the fucking Harry Potter stuff on stage. What's up? What's going on, man? So, uh, I'm going to start off my set a little differently than how I usually start my sets. Because <clears throat> I usually scare people. Because they see this. So, I'm going to clear that a little bit. I snore and it's not cocaine. Alright? Yes, I snore and I laugh. Yes. And usually when I start, especially on stage, people come up to me after my set, they're like, you just did that for attention. I'm like, bitch, look at this. Do I look like I need attention, motherfucker? Look at this. Okay, do I look like I need attention? I already get enough attention. I, I fucking scare people. Look at this face. You're Latina and I'm already fucking scaring you, bro. Yeah. So I'm going to start myself a little differently, all right? Here's, here's how it goes. I like playing games, especially with white people. White people love games, right? Where, where are my crackers in the house? Okay, there's probably like two. All right. So here, here's how the game goes, all right? It's really, really easy. When I say air, you say ab, and you, and you go from there. All right? You got it? You guys look like you can take direction well. Okay, cool. When I say air, you say ab. Air. Ab. Air. Ab. When I say head, you say bala. Head. Bala. Hey, oh, come Bala. on. Come on. I just did a sit in the other room. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Don't worry, I'm not going to bother you yet. Right. Ready? When I say heads, you say Bala head. Bala head. Bala. When I say eyes, you say sis. I. Sis. I. Sis. When I say Harry, you say camel. Harry. Camel. Harry. Camel. When I say Harry, you say pussy. Harry. Pussy. Harry. Pussy. Harry. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even done yet. Okay. When I say, you say, main room, go. Wow, comedy pause, main room. You guys disappoint me, man. Those guys did a lot better than you did, but you know what? It's okay. I'll give you guys, I'll give you, some, I'll, I'll give you guys some credit. Give you guys some a round of applause. So, my name is Amira. A little bit about myself. I'm sure you guys are dying on my ethnicity by now, after all that Hezbollah and ISIS talk. I am a half Palestinian, one quarter Lebanese, and one quarter Greek. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that's what he said. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. So, there's two reactions I usually get from the crowd. Two reactions. I either get cat called on stage, or I get the woo! Yeah! Or I get complete silence <laughs> and I'm, I'm used to it by now you know because people look at me and I can tell the reaction on their faces I'm like yes you guys they still make them like that okay they still make them like that okay all we do is breathe like roaches bro you know what I'm saying we're just like bah, bah, bah. Yet. <laughs> so, um, 
Uh, so it's basically three quarters of severe hatred and instability mixed with the first dose of fiscal irresponsibility. For those, so that joke no one does, doesn't do very well because people are not up to speed with, you know, like the the bullshit of like the, the, the drama between the Palestinians and the Israelis and the Jews, you know what I mean? White people are usually up to par, but the rest of the world aren't because you guys are all like all over social media and shit, but you guys don't pay attention to the to the news. So I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break down the joke for you guys, alright? Here's here's how it goes. You try and put an Israeli and a Palestinian in, in the room together, we'll try to get along. Mm-hmm. But there's only two di- only two di- differences between us. Our noses might be bigger, but at least our pussy is tighter. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> love that joke. I fucking love that joke. Any Arabs in the house tonight other than myself? Any Arabs? <laughs> Well, it only takes one of us. <laughs> oh. yeah. Tell a fucking joke, you guys. So tell a joke. Relax, San Diego. Relax, okay? I thought you guys were better than that. Fucking woke motherfuckers. Man, and I live in the Bay Area, and the area are woke as hell, bro. Yay. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you for the support. So, um, I have some interesting news for you guys. I got engaged recently. He's not one of mine. No, he's not one of mine. No. No, he's a fucking cracker with a pancake gas and a 401k plan. <laughs> For all you liberals that are offended by that joke, he's white. Okay, he's white. Oh my god, did she just say pa- cracker with a pancake gas? Yes, I just said cracker with a pancake gas and a 401k plan. I'm a fucking terrorist and he's a cracker, okay? What do you want from me? You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a fucking white boy with a with a with a fucking pancake ass dude. Oh my god, he's so white. Oh my god, he's so fucking white. You know? And yeah. And one of the main reasons why I'm deciding to marry him so I can get through TSA a lot faster. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. You see this go through TSA? I I I'm always have to go through fucking second expe- inspection, bro. You know what I'm saying? They see me, they're like, it wasn't it wasn't me! They go straight to the fucking hairy vagina. I'm like, no! No! Unless you want to get bombed, but no. You know what I mean? But yeah. So, um, I'm a strong, powerful alpha female. As my family, as my family likes to call it, difficult to deal with and alone. Yeah. But I'd rather be difficult to deal with than, than be a fucking pussy. Right? I got that fucking powerful pussy right here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and, uh, and out of my 5,000 hairy first and second cousins, my one cousin is also a strong, powerful female. Where, where are my strong women in the house? Yeah. Wow. I am so disappointed in you guys. Wow! Yeah, that's it. You guys are some missing bitches up in this house. All right. Okay. And uh, and she is a total fresh off the boat, and she's widowed, and she's not up to speed with like the dating game. And I've had to educate her, you know, on, on how to date, how to act accordingly, and not like a hoe. You know what I mean? You gotta act classy, not like a hoe. You know what I mean? And uh, and she has never dated a black guy before, right? And she's like, and she asked me in her thick, strong Arab accent, and she goes, "Go." <laughs> I'm like, no, because then it's called Once You Go Black, You Become a Single Mother. That's <gasps> 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 <laughs> 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 got some boss to handle that joke. <laughs> I like that joke already. And, uh, you know, for all you work with the program, it's called a joke. I'm a comedian, that's what I do, okay? And, uh, you know, and I did this joke up north recently, and, you know, in front of several black women. I had the balls to do it. And I had this one black woman stand up, and she's like, Bitch, I'm gonna kill you, like, bitch, I'll bomb you, I'll bomb you first, ho. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, 
Okay, if you guys can handle that joke, you can definitely handle this next joke. Who likes dark humor in the house? Anybody like dark humor? Yeah. Yes? No? Make some noise if you like dark humor. Yeah. All right. I'm fucking going there. I'm going to go there. So, people tend to get Arabs and Indians confused a lot. Which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? Because we're both like insanely hair, as you can tell. And we're hella dramatic looking, like we look like, like we want to kill you half the time. You know what I'm saying? And there's two ways to tell us apart. And that is by the smell and sound. <laughs> Indians smell like curry 24-7. <laughs> In Arabs, we smell like hookah stores, liquor stores, grocery stores, and department stores. Why? Because we practically live there. And we sound like this. Thank you, that's 
fun time. Thank you guys. You can follow me on Instagram, Amira Nasser Entertainer. I know it's long, I like it long. Amira Nasser Entertainer. Thank you guys. You guys have, have been a really great crowd. Y'all get her for a mirror one time, god damn. Yeah, we, we go to church together, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we go to church together, god. Is that what women think of? Whoa, ooh, wee. Boy, y'all some nasty creatures. Yeah, yeah. She talked about